Since June of 1944, the Allies have made enormous advances through Europe, sweeping through much of France, Belgium, and Holland, almost to the banks of the Rhine. Much of their success must be credited to the Russians, who at Stalingrad, during the winter of 1943, destroyed many of the Germans' best panzer divisions. On the Eastern Front, the Russians have continued to push the Germans back through Russia and much of Poland, and will soon be on the banks of the Oder River and the border of Germany. The situation for the Germans has grown desperate. Allied bombers have reduced many major German cities to rubble. The German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, is a mere shadow of the power it once was and can do little to stop the bombers, much less fight the Allied armies. The Kriegsmarine, the German Navy, is mostly sunk, its U-boats destroyed, and its sailors pressed into the army. However, the enemy refuses to surrender. Unable to stop the Allied advance, Hitler has turned to vengeance weapons, the V-1 and now the V-2 rockets. These rockets, although some of the most advanced weapons of the war, are too inaccurate to hit military targets. Instead, they are being used to terrorize London. Gentlemen, we fought a whole bunch of these, so I know you know what to do. But indulge me. Move quickly, cover your buddies, don't bunch up. And for heaven's sake, don't stop till we reach those bunkers. Not there! Watch out for those mines!
Great job on those tanks. Private Martin, you've done yourself proud. I can hardly believe you've done this.